With your in-ground pool at home, if you want to save energy well, it's by using a variable speed pump. And we have Matt here, sales director at Detrivi Store in Darval, who's going to show us how to program your pump in order to save energy. Matt, how do we start? Yeah, so this pump here is the Stay Right Supermax variable speed. Um, the first thing you're going to want to check is to make sure the pump is off before you program it or it just won't work. You're going to hold the display button for about five seconds until the time light flashes. At this point, you have the choice to choose between a 24-hour clock, 12-hour clock. It's just a matter of preference. If you hit the display button again, you set your actual time. We're already good for that. And then the third option is actually your screen resolution or the intensity of your screen, if you want to make it a little brighter or not. It's really up to you. Once you get through those steps and you've got the right times, you can now program your three preset speeds. By clicking on the one, you enter into the actual speed of the one. This one right now is set to 2400 RPM. The actual RPMs uh, that you're going to set are going to also be a matter of preference, and there's going to be a few things that are going to vary depending on the size of the pool. The lower that number is, the less the pump is actually pushing, but the less energy you're actually using as well. But you can't have it too low because you need good circulation and filtration in your pool. So we're going to leave this one here set to 2400. We're going to click the one again, and it shows us what time we want the speed one to start at. So we set our clock. Now at 9 a.m., it's going to start on speed one at 2400 RPMs. Go back to that. And if we click it a third time, this this, uh, th this hour here is actually how many hours you want speed one to run for. So it's going to start at 9 a.m. and it's going to run for 12 hours till 9 p.m. Once it gets to 9 p.m., it's automatically going to fall to speed two. Speed two is set a little higher in this case. Uh, again, that's a matter of the size of pool and everything. And when you click the second time, it's actually going to show you th there is no time for speed two to start. It starts when speed one stops. So you just set how long you want it to run on speed two. So say you want it to run four hours, you set it like that. You can now move on to speed three, which in this case is a little bit higher, and click it again, and you can see how long you want speed three to run. Generally speaking, the first one for 12 hours, the second for four hours, but you have another eight hours to run to come back. Or if you want it to run another four hours and for the pump to be off, that's up to you, but when the pump's off, it's not ideal for the actual water circulation. Um, setting and picking the numbers that you actually are going to set your preset speeds at is really a matter, like I said, of your equipment and your size of pool. You just want to make sure that your lowest speed is fast enough for your heat pump to actually come on if you have a heat pump. Because a heat pump has a pressure switch and has a minimum amount of pressure that needs to go through. So make sure you don't go below that or else you're going to wake up one morning and your pool's going to be cold. <laughs> That's perfect. Great tip. So um, now that we know how to program it properly, we can enjoy it. So thank you very much, and Matt. save a little electricity. Absolutely. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks.